Eugen Systems has taken Warno back to the drawing board, literally and figuratively, when it comes to map design. They have started with Black Forest, a map the community thought was a bit too foresty, and I kind of understand this in terms of gameplay. Instead of simply deleting the trees, the map design team has put a large sawmill in the middle of it, giving players another point of interest, and that is exactly one of the issues I have with most of the maps. Usually there's three points of interest spread across the middle line of the map, so it's nice to see some variety. When we look at the new layout of the map, I am very happy to see some asymmetry. People might not understand why, but a symmetrical map creates a symmetrical battle. Forces will clash along a line that splits the map in two, and this just results in boring gameplay. Having the large forested area being closer to the red side in this case means that red team will be there sooner, but will have to move through a lot of forested areas to get to Bravo, while blue team has a relatively faster route. This would mean that a mechanized red player and a motorized blue player will be the best choice to tackle Bravo, this causes a clash of different types of divisions, and so on. It's just much more interesting. Besides changes to the map design, a new color scheme is also going to be implemented here. Instead of looking sun bleached, more shades of grey will be added, but to really evaluate this change, we'll have to play on the map to find out how it feels on the eyes. New units are also going to be added soon. The Odenot, Odenot, Odeno, Odeno patch is being beta tested as we speak, but has been delayed due to serious backend issues. Not everyone might know about this patch, so let's discuss that first. The Odenot patch will bring two new divisions that will focus on the theoretical Battle of Berlin in 1989, and they will be completely free and not behind a DLC paywall. These divisions are NATO's Berlin Command, which is made up of detachments of four different allied nations, best suited for urban combat. They will have units such as the FV-432 Rarden, Royal Air Force Rifles, Green Beret Saboteurs, Chieftain Mark 10, M198 155mm Howitzer, and the AMX-30. 1390 light tank. We will also have the Warsaw Pact's Unternehmen Zentrum, which will have a Napalm MLRS and a bunch of AT weapons, but also new rocket loadouts for the SU-17 and SU-22 M4. Now the West Germans BGS or Bunder Grenzschutz I don't know if I pronounced that one right as well, will also receive Federal Border Police, and these are large reservist recon squads with MP5s, and will be the first female unit in the game. Military police in Warno will be tasked with keeping weaker-willed soldiers in line. Now, I am not entirely sure what they mean with this, but I suppose this will be similar to how leaders function in Steel Division. I don't want to speculate too much on it though and cause confusion. This will be clear when a new unit trait system is added to the game. This change will make Special Forces superior to regular infantry, which is very understandable. It will also overhaul military police units, and come with snipers, which will gain extra stealth when not moving. The amphibious capacity of units will also be treated as a unit trait, and we might finally see some cool amphibious moves once again in a Eugen game. Besides new divisions, changes to the forest map, a new map called Rock will also be included in this free DLC. Last but not least, Destruction Mode will be an option with all maps, and I am very, very much looking forward to this. Finally, with the new update, we will be able to put fobs on the front line, and I want to believe this was inspired by the Wargame Red Dragon Annihilation mod, so good job, fellas. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all Warno developments.